So we're in Scotland today uh, on the last day of our shoot for the Alpha 7S. It's a 35mm full frame camera which actually has tremendous video functionality. It's an E-mount camera so it's really versatile with all the lenses you can use. But the real kind of killer feature of this camera is it's got S-Log2. Image quality coming out of it is tremendous. The low light sensitivity is off the scale. We shot some tests on a beach at night and it was only lit by moonlight. And at around about 50,000 ISO, it looks like daylight. It actually looks like daylight and it was pitch black. It's staggering. We began the film by putting a helicopter in the air. I wanted to get some really nice aerial shots of the rugged Scottish coastline. And I thought with the size of this camera, we can take advantage of, a, of an aerial drone. So we got the guys from Horizon AP to come up and uh, fly for us. And while that was happening, I was out in the boat with the guys and we were filming John Swanky, our fisherman, out fishing for haddock in the sea. So the whole story was involving, you know, pulling the fish in from the water, bringing them into shore and smoking them in a traditional way. back to shore and of course the next part of the process is getting the boat leaving and coming back in so we did that a few times to build the story up and then we went and shot some just beautiful stuff in some really old dirty smelly smoke houses very very dark we did that because we wanted to see how the camera would perform in high contrast low light situations and then we wanted to make we add a little twist to the film so we went to Ochmithy Beach and found Ian Spink, who uh, smokes fish in the traditional way by digging a hole on the beach and planting a big whiskey barrel in there. We filmed him preparing fish on the beach and actually putting them on these batons, smoking them outside in the beautiful great outdoors. The A7S is a very, very compact camera. I mean, it's, it's no bigger than a compact camera, actually. Uh, and so the, it's really versatile. Because of its size, you can put it in just almost any situation. We've had it on a, a Be Steady rig, a free-flying gimbal, and that's been useful as well to give us a bit of stability. Instead of having to work with steady camera and other like big, cumbersome stabilization devices, we've been able to just throw that on there do a few shots, and it's really added a lot of production value. So the size of the camera has really helped us to get a lot of different stuff. If anyone's currently working with the DSLR and is looking for a small form factor camera, this is the one to seriously consider.